<laughs> Good Friday, ladies and gentlemen. Good Friday. Welcome to another edition of your favorite internet show, local internet show, uh, Talking Trends. Why did you downplay? You should have kept it like right where you were because, at. Because, you know what? I'm trying to have a little stamp in time where we can look back and be okay. like, remember that? Remember we were that local show? And As we're sitting across from like, you know, I don't know Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> <laughs> David a Letterman. Random name that was. When we have a, our own Netflix special, wouldn't that be nice? I like everything you're saying to me right now. I'm just putting that out there. You're getting me slightly aroused. Oh. Getting you hard on this sexy Good Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Shouts out to Jesus. <laughs> Shouts out uh, again, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Talking Trends. We do this Monday to Friday, five o'clock to five thirty ish, in your very squeaky chair. I'm sorry. I had to. You know when you get like a hair on your keyboard. And they're going to drive you nuts, OCD. I had to blow that thing right off. There. Yes, hair. I know exactly. You know, like is. a hair, hair. Yeah. Mustache. Yeah, mustache. I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, you're going to grow a mustache today. Someday. Yeah. Uh, yes. So for those tuning in for the first time ever, mm. uh, myself and Tony find news stories from across the globe. And yep. we bring them to the comfort of your home. And unlike other podcasts, we do this live. So we would love to hear your comments and opinions on those stories as well, ladies and yeah. gentlemen. I like it. You like that? We're live, baby. Just, Always live. Just pounded that out. Um, we <laughs> yeah. have a really good show for you today. Yeah. A very weird one. Yeah. Well, as it gets to the, the last story, for sure. <sighs> Slightly disturbing. Very disturbing. Very I want to hear your, your voice... Uh... You're gonna do your imitation of. I'm the, gonna do my imitation. <laughs> We're gonna have a little a little show today. Strap a little on, acting show. Yeah, strap on your boots. Good. Put your headphones in just in case you're around any family members. Yeah, you might want to censor this one. Yeah. Uh, but today we're gonna to be talking about the following. Shouts out to the Terminator. 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 The Terminator. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Mm. Just went in for emergency heart surgery, ladies and gentlemen. That can't be good. It's not a good thing. No. Uh, we'll briefly talk on that. Just a quick little uh, yeah. little tidbit to Ernie. start the show, show off. Um, Corey Feldman got stabbed. <laughs> not necessarily a bad thing. I'm just kidding. <laughs> whoa, I'm just kidding. Whoa. Got against Corey, man. I'm just kidding, though. He's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. He's No one deserves to be stabbed. No. Especially not him. Yeah. Um, this gentleman, very crazy story, coming out of the States, he wanted to kill every white person <laughs> at a high school um, not my words his yeah not good <laughs> not good at all black and people are safe finally black people are safe finally finally yeah we'll survive this movie yeah. um <laughs> tony's going to talk about the things from costco that aren't the best deal apparently according to costco workers we got the inside scoop whoa i'm going to scoop it in your face tony with the the, the hard journalism. I don't know what that was. I, just, I got I got in the moment. Right. I love Costco. Shouts out to Costco. Shouts out. And finally, yes, we're doing five stories today. Ooh. Five for Friday. That's five nice. Friday. This last one's pretty crazy, ladies and gentlemen. Pictured here. Oh God. Dad had his girlfriend. Oh God. Rape his son. Here we go. Because he thought his boy was gay. Just. Jumping in the deep end, ladies and gentlemen, with Just that let, one. let that sink in for a second. <laughs> right. Um, before we begin talking about the stories, this is the very last day of March for the show, that is. Thank you, Lord. Uh, that means the last day of push-up challenge. So if myself or Tony swear we have to do 10 push-ups. Uh, in a row, which isn't easy. It's not easy. No, we don't like that at all. So this is the last time you'll see the push-up cam. Maybe it'll be something else next month. Who knows? Yeah, we got to think of something new. You got to make pancakes on Monday. You've been putting that one off. Oh, bro. Can I just bring them in or no? No, you have to make them on the show. It's a lot of work. Oh, well. It's not good for me. No, no. Um, so, yeah, this is the, the last day for that. So, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in to watching us <laughs> curse and do <laughs> multiple push-ups. Yeah, wait till Monday. It's going to get ugly in here. Probably. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if you want to do the roll call now or later. Uh, let's do it midway. Okay, sounds as we'd good. Like to do. Shouts out to Lucas, still drunk in the building. <laughs> Shouts out. Sub daddy. <laughs> <laughs> no words. No words. Nothing at all. comes out of the mouth of that gentleman right there. It's all good. <clears throat> yeah. Um. Yeah. He's here checking in, checking in on the sites. Yeah, peering in on us, making peering sure we're in. doing the right 
perched, good job, good job. perched in the corner. Yeah, he's good. Over, he's literally across the table from us. We're having a lot of people perched here lately. <laughs> yeah. And ladies and gentlemen, before, again, just get the stroke started, today in history. What do you got? Shouts out to our girl, oh. Celine Dion. Happy birthday, baby. Happy birthday, girl. Turning 50, the big 5-0. I thought she was much older. I thought she was way older too, man. <laughs> Sorry. I think everybody did. She Lucas looks, did. She looks great. I thought she was like 59, 6, pushing yeah. 60. She was yeah. she was definitely dating somebody and married to somebody a lot older. Oh, Lucas is kicking stuff over. <laughs> oh boy. Was that the camera? <laughs> We're good. We're okay. Yeah, that's true. Well, he's passed away obviously, but yeah. I don't know. She and she lives in Vegas. She's been there for like two decades. I wonder or if she's still looking for like a sugar uh, older sugar daddy. You in? No, the older one. Well, you can go. She wants a younger sugar oh, baby. Sugar babies. You could be a sugar baby. Mm. You know what I found <laughs> the other day? Uh, the, the technical term for sugar daddy. Yeah. Uh, glucose guardian. <laughs> nice. You like that one? Much more politically correct. <laughs> yeah. I enjoy it's that. Gender neutral. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I like that. Dot com. Yeah. It's not good. That'd be good. It's, it's good. It's good. It's good. Uh, yeah. So all happy right. birthday to her. Happy birthday, Celine Dion. My heart will go on. You know, I heard that on the radio and like I felt. A little overwhelmed. Have you Bro, seen that oh, movie? Almost brought a tear to you, Mark. Dude, I don't want to talk about it on the air here. But. I actually laughed during that movie. Wow. And I have the black heart. I have the cold heart. That's not me. That's him. <laughs> at the, when it came out, I think I was, I was in like... Ladies. Like, high school, junior high. But, yeah. Uh, You're still a human, man. But the, the thing was, everybody in we noticed in the theater was like crying yeah. during like... Uh, I can't remember what... Towards the end, yeah, when and, he's, he's yeah, dying. and then of course I'm with the high school friends. We're all immature, and you just we just thought it was funny that everybody else was crying and <clears throat> whatever. You were those annoying kids that were cr- that, that were laughing. That was me while everyone was bawling. Ladies and gentlemen, when it came out on VHS, I cried to myself. So I'm just throwing that out. That there. might be more sad. Whatever. Yeah. Let's not get into my life. You. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get into it. Okay. Um, first thing we're gonna get into. The Terminator. Man, Arnold. I'm back. Right? Hopefully he will be back. Let's hope so. Um, for those who don't know, he's going under emergency heart surgery. <laughs> open heart surgery. The Terminator star Arnold Schwarzenegger has undergone emergency open heart surgery, according to U.S. reports. The 70-year-old actor had the medical procedure done on Thursday. Schwarzenegger was scheduled to have a catheter valve replaced and uh, develop complications. Ooh, you got to sue those doctors. Yeah, uh, the so. procedure usually means the patient can avoid having open heart surgery. Not in this case. Nope. Doctors at uh, the hospital in L.A. reportedly decided an emergency uh, open heart operation was needed, and Schwarzenegger was in surgery for several hours. The former governor of California is believed to be in stable condition. Hmm. So, hopefully... First he all, makes a speedy recovery because he's going to be starring in one of my favorite movies. Yes. Again, the James Cameron remake remake of The Terminator. Because if you don't know, James Cameron I, did it originally. He, yeah. he, he did the first two. And then it got put through the ringer and the garbage system. The, the garbage Hollywood Termin- system. Terminator. The last Terminators have sucked. And I've yeah, been. Yeah, not good at all. It, it hurts me as a fanboy. What, so, was, your, what was your favorite Terminator? Oh man! Your favorite one. My if you have to pick one, one, you only got to. You can only choose one. I still got to choose if I if uh, number one because the okay. only thing I didn't like about Terminator Two was that the kid controlled him way too much. And as a Terminator, you just want to see him like rip through people, heartless, mm-hmm. kill human beings just to complete his <laughs> mission. Want to see murder I just want to see him. But then that first one where he went through that whole police station and he just was killing everybody. Yeah, that was pretty. That was pretty crazy. Yeah, that was pretty nuts actually. But that's what a robot, a Terminator would do. Yeah. He but, wouldn't take orders from a little John Connor. Well, you got a, you know, was he a T-1000? T-2000? No, he was against the T-1000 in oh, the that's second right. one. Yes. He okay. was against another Terminator. That's right, that's that right. was the twist. That's where they threw you off because at the beginning of the movie, yeah. they wanted you to think that he was originally going back after John Connor, but he was there to protect them. Ooh, I like that you break that down for me. Thank you, man. Yeah. Just Appreciate in case, of la- ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't seen Terminator 2. You better go get it. You better go get that. Yeah. And, uh, Cop that. Watch that. Um, so, yeah. Speedy recovery to yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger. I didn't know he was that old. 70. Man. Yeah. We, we, his age makes more sense when you associate it to Celine Dion. I agree. She should be 70. She should be 70. He should be turning 50. <laughs> <laughs> Can they switch that up, please? 
So Terminator doesn't look like he's got to, you know, roll in on a wheelchair or something? <laughs> I don't want to see that day, man. Dude, I'll be so... Uh, it's going to be a hard day. That man, that guy with the bodybuilding, we were just talking about this, how much abuse right. the body goes through. And he's been, um, you know, especially back then, because even, the, like, even if you're taking drugs now mm-hmm. to bodybuild, they were a lot worse back then. They it, were, they were, there was no no yeah, testing. There, there was, was just, nothing, bro. And that's so, what we were, yeah, exactly, we were saying earlier. And they're like, uh, you can imagine. A lot of people who do a lot of the steroids, a lot of those bodybuilders, it catches up to them later on in life uh, yep. with their, their heart. And as you can see in this situation, I would assume that may, yep. may have something to do with it just because the stress that you're putting your body under and on top of it, you know, you're, you know, essentially <laughs> being like a cartoon size of yourself when you're putting these steroids in your body. Oh, yeah. You're not supposed to be that big. No, man, no. So, and yeah, all the joints anyway. Hopefully he comes out and... Uh, yeah. Speedy recovery, sir. I'll be I back. look forward to seeing you in the, the latest Terminator and hopefully uh, another Twins movie. <laughs> no, he's not Earth black. For... The next one's a black version, isn't uh, it? Oh, babe, hope, yeah. Isn't hope. that what you said? Well, that's what I would hope. Where, I, that I was where... hoping the next Twins movie would be Kevin Hart and Terry Crews. Oh, that's what we were talking about. That's right. That's what would be the new version of that movie. It makes sense. How did we come up with that? Were they talking about doing a remake of that? I think so. Okay, that's why. Yeah. I, I love Because Eddie Murphy's supposed to be, apparently, oh, that's supposed right. to be in there. That's right. That's yeah. right. I would like to see a new True Lies, though. Anyway, <laughs> we, we digress. Ooh, that was a good movie, actually. <laughs> right? That was fun. Yeah, I ain't going to lie. Uh, Corey Feldman. <clears throat> Back in the news. He cray-cray. He's, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Corey Feldman's always, oh, he always just wants to be in the news. I don't know if he wanted to be in this particular news uh, news Sick. feed. Corey Feldman's attorney has blamed road rage for an alleged attack in which the actor was stabbed. Feldman, Feldman's attorney was blamed. Oh, sorry. A 46-year-old actor recently revealed he was admitted into hospital for treatment for wounds, which he claims uh, he sustained when someone forced his way into his car and struck him with a sharp object believed to be a syringe. Which is even scarier than that's like a real scary. Yeah, that's a whole other ball game right there. Because uh, if you get stabbed, of course, with the knife, one thing, but syringe, man, God knows. Corey previously believed that the alleged attack um, could well, have I suppose been, they could dip a knife in something too. I mean, you could, but syringe just has a it does, has it a has connotation a, with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. That's like, true. and just some random person, like well, I don't know where that's anyway. Yeah. Uh, he believed the alleged attack could have been related to his decision to speak out against child sex abuse in Hollywood. Oh, he's, so like, he's <laughs> trying to wrap some big story. Oh, boy, here we thing. go, Corey. Let's just yeah. relax. Let's just leave it to the road uh, rage. Yeah, but his lawyer, who's a bit smarter, has now blamed <laughs> road rage for the incident. <laughs> <laughs> he's like Feldman. Why don't you just just calm yourself down? They're not going to make a movie out of the week out of this one. All right. Uh, it was just. Some guy, you probably, you know. Just cut off. Yeah, you just cut him off. You're in L.A. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, he, uh, he he said, quote, it was on uh, Ventura Boulevard in California, of course. Uh, this kind of, uh, it's the kind of place where people cruise around. Uh, I think it was an ego thing, he says. Uh, they got into a, a staring contest with the, secu- <laughs> with the security guard. It was road rage. At the light, one of the guys uh, got out of the car, and the security guard, instead of just taking off, stupidly got out of the car and engaged with him uh while in uh, while he was distracted one of the alleged attackers circled around and opened the door and caught Corey by surprise and attacked him with a sharp object <laughs> yeah yeah uh, 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 take that um so yeah Corey's all right and and you know he, he was tweeting i saw the, some tweets listen he's okay <laughs> the way he went on about it it's like you got stabbed 40 times and they were like <laughs> The way he goes on about it, just like, yeah, they're trying to get me to shut up and all this stuff about the Hollywood thing. He won't let that thing die because that story is kind of gone. Like, no one's really talking about no. it. Like, when, you know, the, all the Hollywood stuff and the scandals were coming out. Remember when he first came out with this? Did he ever say who, like, who he... Uh... He never did. Right, because um, that's what I thought. I was like, I don't think he's going to even say anything because I think I'm calling his bluff. He uh, he was going, he was looking for funding to make the movie. Right. To make a movie. And keep in mind, not a documentary. Like a movie. He wanted to, of course, star in the movie uh, and direct the movie right. uh, and produce the movie. And he wanted all the funds for the movie to be donated from whoever. <laughs> he started a whole thing. Uh, and he said, no, I'm not going to tell you who who's doing what. I'm going to tell you in the movie. Of course, so he never got the money together. Clearly. The, the movie never happened. So he had all these interviews. He It's so weird, right? Because the guy who's standing up for sex child abuse yeah. in Hollywood yeah. rode that wave. To create this movie to help people 
uh, you know, be informed on what's happening with with child actors in Hollywood. And then nothing. He doesn't listen, dude. Like they were calling him on. Listen, man, if you're going to help call these people out and help just call them child out. actors, call them out. Yeah. What are you doing? That's what Terry. And he, that's what, speaking of Terry Crews, that's what he did recently. He went on Dr. Phil. I think with uh, what's the Dr. Phil? Anyway, he came out on some show. Yeah. And he was like, this person did this. This person did that. My yeah. agent did this. Yeah. Boom. It, like that. <laughs> just to help the cause. Right. Yeah. Then you have Corey getting stabbed. Feldman. Well, <laughs> Corey stabbed me, Feldman. Uh, you just come on and say it, man. Like, just tell everybody know. what's going on. You really about it? Then yeah. be about it and do something. And the fact that he's still trying to ring it in with his fishing oh, rod, being like, bro. they're trying to shut me up. They're trying. Like, dude, I think on the scale of things, no one's checking for you. Yeah. For this whole thing. It's nuts, man. Uh, yeah. So anyway. Uh, Speedy recovery, Corey. Well, I think he's okay. Like he got poked with a needle, so like, I think I think I think he'll survive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're trying to get you, Corey. We, you're trying to bring it's down like, Hollywood. He, he, They're trying to take he, you out. He barely broke the skin. I don't even know if there was any blood. Actually, <laughs> yeah. I think he just po- He's he's got he's had so much plastic surgery, just bumps right yeah, up. Yes, true. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happens. Uh, yeah. Anyway, he'll be fine, people. He'll be fine. Yeah. Just in case you're wondering. Yeah. He'll be okay. He survived. Yeah. Whether that's a good thing or not, we don't know. Yeah. But shout out. Yeah. Shout out, Corey. Yeah. Because then we would have got lost. The other Corey, two Corys would have been gone. Yeah. Did yeah. you watch that show, The Two Corys? No, I never a sad did. Sad exhibition that was. Man. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Like he was so the other Corey was so bad on drugs. Like you could just tell he was like a raging crackhead, like trying to recover really bad. Yeah. And anyway, <laughs> shouts out to one of the Corys and the other Corey. There you go. Heal up, brother. Heal up. Heal we up. We got two hospital stories right out the gate. I know. Arnie and now Corey. <laughs> yeah, it's it kind of crazy. Yeah. Uh, up next, this is not a hospital story. This no, one was a, a school story. Yeah. Shouts out to the school story. Shouts out to the schools. Uh, high school placed on lockdown after a staffer threatened to, ladies and gentlemen, this is not coming from me, yep. execute every white man, police say. <laughs> Okay. Bold statement. Very bold statement. Yep. <clears throat> so a high school in Connecticut was on lockdown Wednesday after a school employee who wanted to execute every white man threatened to go on a killing rampage. Whoa. A suspect identified here as Carl Lemon. He looks like a Carl Lemon. He so looks like a Carl Lemon, bro. right? He does. Uh, 63, an in-school suspension coordinator at Harding High School in Bridgeport was charged with second degree threat and breach of peace. He was released on $5,000 bond. Let that settle in in your mind for a second there. Yeah, think about that for a second. Officers responded to the school following an alert of a possible threatening situation. Uh, Dane Br- Brown, the school's principal, said the man made threatening comments to a teacher. Police claim Lemon said he hates white people and couldn't wait for the Panthers to give him the okay and a revolution begins because he will execute every white man he gets his hands on. Wow. Gets better. The school staff member also alleges, uh, allegedly stomped on American flag and told students in the classroom that this is what I think about it. <laughs> During the police investigation, Principal Brown said she found an anonymous note in her mailbox regarding Lemon's troubling behavior. Mm-hmm. Mr. Lemon talks about shooting whites a lot. He watches ra- radical stuff during class. I'm scared he will do something. He's crazy. Uh, also, Lemon previously faced charges on creating public disturbance, disorderly conduct, and harassment. The charges were later dropped. So, ladies and gentlemen, mm-hmm. my question is, how does this guy even get hired in a high school right. situation? Yeah. Firstly. Yeah. Secondly, how is the how is this ba- bond only $5,000? I don't get it, man. You would think in this climate, uh, with all the school shootings that have just happened, and, exactly. you know. Exactly. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of a loss of words right now. It's so weird how the system works so radically different in these situations it's in, <laughs> like, and just, it's so crazy because like in healthcare you're told like every person's an individual case and i'm starting to suspect it's the same thing yeah. when it comes to the justice system and law it's super all over the place independent per person yeah we're kind of talking about you know about people having money and not having money and how it works around that instead of the law the law is a is written rules and they should apply to everybody. You would think that you couldn't bend them. You would think you can't. And you and even with money, you shouldn't be able to bend them. Um, and in these times in the States, where we're talking about all the, the school shootings and all this stuff. You know, it just it's amplified. How does this guy get out on $5,000 bond? Like, 
Yeah. How does that happen? I don't understand so it. So I don't get it. Does is is the guy doesn't have a uh, you know? I mean, listen, he has a great lawyer, or is the system just weird like that where you can just get it on fi- for it's not serious enough for him to be held what on make, anymore? And that's the thing. Yeah, what, I don't get it. What doesn't make? Yeah, what doesn't make this serious? So he's. That, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. Like he. <laughs> I mean, is it, he's clearly going to be on some sort of watch list. I would hope after this. The problem is. I would assume so. You would assume, but uh, the problem is you're going to have to wait for something to happen at this point. Yeah. At this point, so you know this guy is capable and has the ideas already in his mind that he wants to do this. Yet, no, we can't do anything until it happens, right? Which makes sense because listen, it's not a crime yet. Not a, technically. Yeah. It's kind of like Minority Report. We need Minority Report in here. We need Tom Cruise. Yeah. To start arresting people. For crimes they haven't committed but will commit in the future. I like that. Let's get that. Yeah. How do we make that happen? Well, if, I don't know. But um, Good suggestion. I like it. What, what are they called in the movie? Oh, my God. I'm trying to remember. The guys. The clairvo- the- they're like clairvoyants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're on these like little pools. This is this episode's filled with a lot of movie references right now. I like it. I like it. It's good. Yeah. Uh, uh, if you haven't checked out Minority Report, I highly check, check that out. Yeah. Speaking of movies, uh, Rude Dog says, uh, when are you guys shooting twins? I'll be Danny. De- he said, Tony will be Danny DeVito. I said, Why well, am I Danny DeVito? How does that work? Oh, man. We should shoot it. All right, we'll do it. <laughs> Shouts out to Rude Dog. Shouts out to everybody. Uh, let's do a quick roll call. Lisa, John, uh, the Rude Dog, Jeanette, uh, Jenny, uh, Tristan, Kathy, uh, DJ Scorpio from Miami in the house. Shouts out. And Karen, Ian, uh, yeah, all in the house. Thank you guys for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Yeah, that's a messed up story, man. But we seem to have it over and over again, these situations. But it just doesn't make sense when, again, as I think you said it uh, pretty good, when you have these rules written in place. I mean, it's just like when you're playing well, a sport, you step on the foul line, like you step out of bounds, yeah, it's out rule. of bounds. Period. There's no, oh, it, it may be uh, yeah, today, yeah, today you're out of bounds, but yesterday How much not. is LeBron making? Ah, okay, yeah, just let him, <laughs> let him just run along. His, his line is different than everybody else's right. line. Yeah, he floats over the line. Right. Here's the thing. If it's a rule, it should be a rule. Does yeah. it vary from state to state? Does it vary from judge to judge? It's I mean, clearly. And and that's it. And here's the thing. When you brought up the money thing, you mm. would think on top of that, if you're adding money to bend the rules, you would think the rules would then be more strict because yes. they're like, oh, this person's using money to try and get out of this. Totally. Yeah, I agree. hundred percent. I don't know. Uh, Rude Dog says, remember you guys did Rock, Paper, Scissors and TK1. Yeah. I can't believe you remembered that. Hey. How about the twins? Yeah. That's makes true. Sense. Oh, my God. Yeah, jeez. You remember that? <laughs> Damn, rude dog. Uh, on who would be Danny DeVito. Yeah. I lost. I can't <laughs> believe you true. brought that up. That's <laughs> so painful for me right now. <laughs> um, yeah. But there is different state laws. Mm-hmm. So different states do have different laws. Yeah, but so listen, if I'm going to kill somebody, not going to kill somebody. Don't do it. But uh, in crazy future uh, parallel universe world, TK yeah. kills somebody, you would think I would get the same sentence in every state and every province. You, it shouldn't be like, oh, yeah. TK's getting 25 years here and 15 in this state. Or no, you would think so. It'd be, especially for the serious crimes. Like, especially for those serious crimes, that should be a standard everywhere. Right. Anyway, uh, the uh, U.S. justice system never seems to fail to amaze us. U.S., Canadian, I think all justice systems. I agree. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen? Mm. Tony's going to bring some justice to us right now. <laughs> you know what? I like my list, baby. With the Costco, things that you should not buy at Costco, according to the employees of Costco. They got the inside a scoop. Yeah. Uh, seven deals that aren't worth the money. I always think I'm getting a bargain at Costco. Me Apparently too. I'm not. Me too. Uh, you are in some things, but not everything. Same way. I'm buying the wrong baby wipes? Uh, yeah. Okay. I want a whole crate. Yeah. Uh, Costco deals aren't quite equal. The retail uh, chain is famous for having just about everything in bulk from kids' food uh, to cars. Oh, we didn't. This that was all cars here. <laughs> cars in bulk. Yeah, cars in bulk. Uh, I'll take. Uh, I'll take the six pack. Of. I'll take the six Nissan Sentras, please. <laughs> oh boy. Yo, yo, bro. There's this crazy deal at Costco. They're giving like a six pack of cars for like a hundred grand. No way. Yeah. Yeah, we can give them out to all of our friends. Sweet. It's gonna be so cool. All right, so here we go. Let's run this down. It's a quick list: seven things. <laughs> Two, four of minis. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Yeah, the minis. That'd yeah. be kind of cool, actually. Yeah, be, uh, they should have like a Costco for like billionaires, and you buy like bar bark, like. In, that, I think that option is probably for the, the millionaires. I would agree. I'm sure there is probably. a Costco for, for rich people. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, first thing is vacations, which I knew that they book vacations, uh, but they said you have a better chance of booking a vacation on your own. Uh, oh, Tony, I said it again. Hold on. Uh, say, oh, damn, I was going to do a good joke. 
Keep going. What happened? Ah, Were you going to be joking on me? No, it was about the rich people and where uh, they go. But you lost stuff. it. What happened? I don't know. I'm not that good. You want to keep talking about rich people? No, no. Oh, okay, I have me. nothing. <laughs> the time is over. Yeah, it's over. Uh, <laughs> according to a former Costco marketing uh, manager, um, you, he said uh, that doesn't mean you should get a good deal. Uh, you can't always get it better online, but you can get a better at Costco. 2013 post, he wrote that the Costco travel deals aren't terrible by any means, uh, but you're simply not going to find uh, crazier yeah. deals. You'll find them better online. So. You can buy Costco uh, vacations? Well, I think what you do, you know when you're leaving Costco and they got all those boards there with all the different right. things that they don't necessarily... <laughs> Next have. to the movie passes? Yeah, like they have a <laughs> picture... Like, yeah, uh, yeah, picture of a car, but not the car's not there. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, vacations was one of them. Crazy. Uh, number two, standard membership uh, if you spend, uh, what does it say? Standard membership if you spend a ton of money. So, standard membership card at Costco goes for $60 a year. Ex- yep. Executive membership goes for $120 a year. Uh, store manager recommended springing for the more expensive option if you tend to be a big spender. The reason is you get 2% back rewards uh, when you spend money there. So a standard membership gets you access to Costco and executive membership will get you uh, will net you an annual 2% reward up to $1,000 on your purchases. So if you, whatever you spend for that year, I know because my mother-in-law has it. You get the 2% you back. You get 2% back. She got a check the other day for like, you know, $300. Oh, damn. I'm like, cool. Okay. So that's a good move. I like, uh, I like the, the things that give back. Like I got a credit yeah. card the other day, nice travel one. Gives you points to anything I buy to go travel. See, we should travel. I'm going. Let's travel. Let's do it, baby. All right. Uh, next one is uh, cookware and patio furniture. If you live in Japan, so, <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's a random one. Um, so the manager says uh, wrote that some of the co- uh, some of the cookware uh, at his local uh, Costco in Japan is too big for typically Japanese ovens. So if you live in Japan, people don't do it. It's a bad move. Yeah. That- to me, Costco in Japan is kind of just odd. Well, they have to be there, I guess. I don't know. Where, okay. Well, where did Costco originate from is the question. America. America. It had to originate from America. Uh, lots of perishables is the next one. So your fruits and vegetables and all that stuff. Uh, if it's just for you and your partner, Costco packages uh, are products of food. Uh, maybe too much. Obviously, it's in bulk. So when you go and buy that stuff, a lot of times it spoils. So it's not worth it. Electronics. Whoa. With the internet shopping uh, being done today, there's an unbelievable amount of hot deals going on at any given time, any majority category of electronics. So Costco may not be the best place to get your electronics. Mm. Uh, online, we talk about that a lot. Yeah. Uh, the next one, we got two left. Uh, or sorry, I think this is the last one here. Any product where you're buying more than you need. Costco is notorious for buying in massive bulk and a lot of well, it. Well, it's just like in life. It's like you can apply it to literally anything. True story. Uh, manager wrote as well, because of the warehouse bulk size, it's easy to buy far more of something than one household can ever use. <laughs> you buy like four big jars of olives or something. I learned my lessons early shopping at uh, Costco. Uh, yeah. Or actually when it was the Price Club, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, Ooh, remember when it was called yeah, the Price I Club? That. I remember that. Um, yeah, uh-huh. just again, you, you're excited. You got the card and you're like, man, this Apple is a also. good deal. I'm just going to buy all the True story. Know, batteries. And last one is towels and sheets. If you're picky about colors, if you roll up to Costco expecting to find the perfect shade of pre-wrinkled, uh, sorry, periwinkle, <laughs> pre-wrinkled, I'm I like, went what, pre and had wrinkle. Color is that? I like pre-wrinkled color. <laughs> uh, you're probably going to be disappointed if you want 20 <laughs> colors. This is not the place. They got like four colors. So if you want your 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 pure pre-wrinkled, pre-wrinkled, yeah, that color, hilarious. Uh, not the place to go. But I'm going to go to Costco tomorrow. Now I just like I want to go there now. See? This that, made me want to go. Maybe this was a clickbait article, my oh, friend. Oh, it got me. It worked. It worked. Knew my algorithms. Yeah. I don't like it. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, winding up today, Good Friday. Yeah. Literally, Good Friday. So good. Uh, crazy story. <laughs> crazy Sorry is for an that. understatement. Sorry man. for that little laugh before, but... Um, Very sinister. This is intense. So sit down. Put your buckles on. Tighten your belt. Take your kids out the Take room. Take your kids out of your rooms. Yeah, good idea. Put some headphones on because mm-hmm. your boy is getting deep. <laughs> Look out. <laughs> uh, so in this story, a dad had his girlfriend mm-hmm. rape his son with autism because he thought the boy was gay. Yep. That's the world we're living in, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that says it all. Uh, a man from Alabama. 
good old Alabama. And his girlfriend have been convicted of raping the man's 11-year-old son because he thought the boy might be gay. Sean Brandon Cole, 29, and Khadijah Moore, 21, Khadijah, were each convicted Tuesday of rape, sodomy, and sexual abuse of a child under the age of 12. Oh boy. Yeah, a little heavy right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, they each face life in prison, and yeah. sentencing is set for May 24th. Moore, who failed to show up for the, the, the trial, is considered a fugitive after oh, the trial judge issued a warrant for her arrest Monday uh, at the start of proceedings. So she's a fugitive now. Good. That's always good. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah. That's, uh, that's called, uh, <laughs> that's an innocent person right there. Yeah. If you're on the run. You're on the run. You didn't do it. <laughs> for, for raping an 11-year-old boy. Yeah. That means you didn't do it. Mm-hmm. Um, so the sexual assault took place over Thanksgiving. God damn. Why is it going to be on Thanksgiving? You oh, just swore. Oh. 10 push-ups. Let's go, baby. Tony. Every show that I caught Tony. that one. I missed that one yesterday, but I caught it today, baby. <sighs> Boom. 10 push-ups. Let's get into it. You son of a bitch. If you got, I'm giving you two. Oh yeah, my god! Sex. Listen, I want ten. I want to be good ones too, not the lady ones. Get all the way. Look at that push-up cam go. Let's go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Beautiful. Good form. Thank good you. form. Thank you. If you guys didn't know, anytime we swear on the show, and today's the last day of the month, uh, ten push-ups to the first person, and any person who does that. That word is in your vocabulary and it makes its way every show. I think you've only missed it once. That's your go-to word. That is your go-to the, swear. The two words they, they they they're like peanut butter and jam. And on a on a holy day like today, <laughs> you use the Lord's name in vain. Shouts out to the Lord. You don't do say it. Don't say it. Tony. He will smite you. Yeah, he already did with some push-ups. Yeah, that's true. That's uh, what you get. That's what you get. <laughs> All right. So let me continue with this Please uh, do. story that I ha- understand your emotion in the story and that's why I came out. Yeah, see? Come on, God. I mean oh, come on. Don't don't do that. He he knows. Get him. He or she knows. It. Anyway. Um Thanksgiving. Wow. This happened on Thanksgiving, so <laughs> I'm You think about turkey. And this guy's thinking about Rape. you should suck my boy off. Rapey. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for the voice to come out. There it is. That is the best interpretation of what that guy was. Based on the picture. Based on the picture, that's what that man sounds like. Yeah. And his exact uh, words. Let me paint this picture for you. I like it. Mashed potatoes getting passed around. Past the yams. Mm, yeah, yeah. I'm getting hungry. I'm gonna put that corn on my plate. Yeah. And uh Khadijah. Yeah. yeah. He go suck my boy off. <laughs> it yeah. Unbelievable. This is not me, ladies and gentlemen. That's what this, this man did. It's the holiday of giving. And she gave. Giving thanks. Unbelievable. <laughs> We're getting shut down. Listen, no. So um, this happened Thanksgiving 2016 while the boy who has autism mm. uh, was visiting his father for the holiday. Yes. Uh, the child who then uh, lived in Georgia with his mother and I'm assuming now will continue to live with his mother. In Georgia. Yeah. Uh, Cole allegedly found his son in a compromising position uh, with another boy and became angry. So this is why he thought that his son was gay in the first place. Right. You know, boys will be boys. Boys will play. We'll, we'll wrestle. Whatever. We all wrestle. We all we? wrestle. I do it now. I'll, I'll threat Tony. I'll wrestle you right now. We'll do like a wrestling camp. <laughs> we'll wrestle you right now. Take your shirt off. I'll no. take my shirt off. <laughs> Lucas, take that's, your shirt off that's, too. That's gay. And we're gonna we're gonna all wrestle. Listen, Khadijah's gonna show up at the door. And Khadijah's gonna come here and suck us all. I was sent here to rape you. <laughs> like, whoa. This is getting real crazy. Yeah, I gotta I, don't know I gotta reel this one in. Yeah, bring this it is back. A serious story, ladies and gentlemen. Bring it back. Uh, so anyway, after the compromising position, he found his son in and he thought, Hey, my boy's gay. Yeah. In response, he made Khadijah have sex with the boy. The fact that Khadijah's like, that sounds like a good idea. You yeah. know what? Okay. I love you. I love you that much. Maybe this is a, a test to the, the, to love. Uh, what would you do for your man? Ask R. Kelly. What would you do for R. Kelly? She do what? Well, I don't know. That's just crazy. So just like, (laughs) what would you do? Could you imagine the Klondike bar commercial? What would you do for a Klondike? (laughs) Uh, Let me Uh, see. I would. 
have sex with my friend's son, my yeah. boyfriend's son, yeah. who has autism. Yeah. Oh, by the way, he's 11. That's what I would do for a Klondike bar. She's going the distance. This story's getting real dark, ladies and gentlemen. It is, but the good thing about it is life sentences. These guys, yeah, uh, at least the, the guy is captured. The girl is God, God knows where. Hide yeah. your kids. Hide your kids. For God's sake. They raping everybody out. Can I say that? Um, but yeah, that's... You can say that. Okay. Um, it's a fortunate story. It's pretty crazy. Well, here's the thing. Life sentences fits the crime for sure. This is the one thing we were talking about before about rape allegations, rape charges in the States. It ain't no joke. No. And this is like got all of this is underage. The kid has autism. Uh, you know, it's a rape. I mean, it's got everything on there. Life sentences. Absolutely the right call. Yeah. And that's a law that that's just what's what it should be. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> the article later on is that the, the boy who now I think he's 13 now. Yeah. Um, he's doing well. Good. And um, the. The, the only the, they say the only terrible part about this is he he still doesn't understand why like kind of well, still what happened. Yeah, that was my question. Does he really understand? Yeah, you know. Um, yeah, he, and he doesn't really understand like it's not his fault. I mean, he has autism too, so which is kind of sad as well. Yeah. Um. In the ugh, come on, come on, Dad. Gosh, uh, darn it. At least there's some justice happening. I know it doesn't take back what happened, but. Yeah. In all, in all fairness, there's 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 sometimes there's some justice in the world and in that system. So yeah, at least I mean, hopefully they catch the 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 girl too. Well, I mean, I'm assuming they're you know full campaign and plaster her face everywhere and and this is a crime where it's like you know, I think the public will be like, yeah, like let's find this girl and right. let's get her in there. She's out here sucking man. kids off and stuff. Come on, don't do that. Don't be doing that, man. That's a general rule. That's a life. general rule of life. Don't it's a, it's be a good rule to live be, by. Don't be sucking kids off. What's, don't be doing that. Come on. No now. matter what your boyfriend says. No matter what your loved one says. Yeah. Listen, it might not be true love if uh, he, he's telling you to do that to his son. Maybe not. Just throwing that out there. Yeah. And you know, maybe the boy's not gay. <laughs> Yeah, how about Beside that? The maybe, point. maybe you wait a little bit, and yeah. if he is gay, who cares? Maybe the father's gay. Maybe the dad's gay. Oh, he's he can't he's deal with about it. to be gay because he oh. is a life sentence of being gay now. You didn't like it before, buddy. You ain't going to like it now. <laughs> you thought it was worse before. He gets the Wonder Bag and Olive Oil treatment, you ladies about. and gentlemen. Whoa. You know a lot of details about this particular situation. Well, that's today's show, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, thanks for tuning okay, in to another on. episode yeah, of Talking yeah, Trends. <laughs> uh, Rude Dog wants to know, is the, is the jam tomorrow? The jam is next Saturday. We'll be celebrating our four-year anniversary. Next Saturday. Well, my bull across the table, Lucas, we're yeah. here. We'll actually be filming some stuff today. Um, so watch out for some interesting promo videos. Again, we're going to start rolling those daddies out real soon. It's always fun. It was always fun. Good mm. for a laugh. Yeah. Uh, so hopefully we'll We'll see everybody and their family at um, the jam next Saturday. But we'll be pumping that next week. Next Saturday. Next Saturday. So, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll be there. What are you up to for the weekend, my friend? I don't know. I have to read this name. Donnie Bottomley. Sorry. I just like the name. Okay. Someone who joined us. Donnie Bottomley. I like I like it. I like that name, too. It's all good. So, so. Uh, what's happening this weekend? It feels like a Saturday to me for some reason, even though we don't do the show on Saturday. But uh, <laughs> You partied like it was a Saturday yesterday, I did. right? <laughs> Listen, I had a good time. Shout out to everybody that met my path along last night. <laughs> we had a good time. Hey, man. I had Fun. to call quits at like 1 o'clock. You went home a little early, but yeah. in all fairness, you weren't drinking because you're not doing the drinking thing. No. Nope. I think if you had a couple in you... Oh, in the full I, moon i probably just sleep at the studio Shouts out to ko who uh, uh lasted through the full moon hey. partied like a rock star that he and shout out to him and uh Maje had a show last night tea yes. room which was cool fun and yeah it was a fun time so yeah. i'm gonna recoup mm -hmm. today I'm feeling all right yeah. you know and then tomorrow i don't know what are you doing tomorrow i'm gonna go to the gym in the morning i'm doing the gym in the morning yeah. my last 5k uh Run a day is tomorrow. Oh yeah, for March. I did yeah. it for sixty days straight. Now I was originally doing it for thirty, and then I was like, I'm put a thirty days on that too. How long is the drinking thing going on now? Ninety days. Jeez. <laughs> Are you ever gonna break that? I don't know at this point. I think the best no. time is at the jam next week. <laughs> Should be the right time. Yeah, this is true. There you go. Celebration. You gotta celebrate, right? This is true. Um, I'm either thinking about doing it then or when the patio season comes. 
I just want to like you were sit saying out, yeah. sit out in front of it when the sun's out. But bro, a that's nice a lot worse drinking in the sun. That's what you want the first time to be. Tony, do you know who I am? You're gonna melt. Uh, Yogi, yeah. Uh, as soon as you mention Ko's name, Yogi appears. Interesting. I'm interesting. He says I'm late as I'm late AF. Yes, I know. And you want me to say it. I'm not gonna say it. Ah, dang it. That's okay. Uh, Yogi, you missed a good one. When this ends, uh, hit back on the the scrub back like five, <laughs> six minutes on the last article. You'll like that one. I think you'll like the article. You'll get a kick out of that one. Yeah. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for tuning in uh, to another episode of Talker Trends. We really do appreciate it. Uh, probably, sorry we got a little too silly with the last uh, topic. But, a little silly. Uh, we uh, add okay. a little levity to it. It's all good. But uh, again, thank you for tuning in. Uh, go to the website, wetalkintrends.com. Search us on iTunes, Google Play, Talking Trends. Uh, we're all on that, all we're, that. We're on everything: YouTube, LinkedIn, Tumblr. You can find us. We're around. We're around. Happy Good Friday. Happy Easter, everybody. Happy long weekend. Yeah. In- uh, enjoy the day. Yeah. Take some time with your fam and chill. Yeah. And then uh, and then get back to work. Everyone be safe this weekend. Peace out, everybody. Take care, and we'll see you Monday.